Hallelujah, hallelujah. This morning, the most high. We get up to say Shema. Israel, Adonai, Eloheinu, Adonai, Akai. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. And bless your name. Number four. 
for Torah. Five is the number for grace. So we know when we return back to the most high Yah's commandments, we have grace, which is the enablement to keep the commandments. Come on now. I'm thanking the most high Yah this morning for justice. Because yeah. all four police officers woke up in jail this morning. I know right now when you begin to turn back to the laws of the most high Yah, justice will be served. Glory. Ooh, somebody was in the Torah huh? praying for no justice, no peace. On, somebody man. was walking in the commandments saying, Most high, y'all, no justice, no peace. Glory. So let me tell you, when we get on one accord, Ooh. oh, we talked about that one accord on yesterday. Ooh. When we get on one accord, because in unity, it's where he commands the blessing. Thank you. So I'm thankful to the Most High Yah this morning. I'm having a celebration deep down on the inside of my soul. But we need all of Israel to wake up. I'm talking about, come on one accord. I'm talking about all of Israel to go back to the laws of the Most High Yah. Come on now. We be mighty in numbers now. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm talking about a revolution. And I, I, I think everybody saw the revolution was televised. Mm -hmm. What you say? They said on CNN last night that out of all 50 states Come on. in this United States of America, every last one of the states led a mighty protest. Oh, I'm talking about a rise up. I'm talking about a rise up. Not only that, for the first time, it was a global standing up. You better say it. No justice, no peace. Oh, come on now. They took to them streets. Yes, and then did. we blacked out on social media. Oh, come on now. We let them know right now that we serve the one and only most high Yah, and justice will be served. Yes. When you walk mm -hmm. in the laws. Of the most high, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get it twisted. Don't, now, nah, nah. I mean, they've been arrested, y'all. Now, we didn't seen this before. Yes. We need convictions. Amen. We need convictions. Mm -hmm. We don't need some just, oh, they in jail right now. We need convictions. Yes. And we need uh, Derek. I have no honor for him at all. Uh, we need him to be charged with first degree murder. Yeah, they bumped it up to second degree murder, but he stood there on that man's neck for eight to nine minutes with no remorse. So why do we have remorse for him? Huh. He needs to be charged. Yeah. With first degree murder. Yeah. And I'm standing on the law. Thou shall not kill. Come on. Let me tell you, at 9, 12, and 3, all I do is lift up my voice to y'all, and I put out George Floyd's name, and I say, Thou shall not kill. Come on. I ain't got to go into no, oh, Moses, I got, you know, I ain't got to start begging. You know, we was taught to beg in Christianity. Yeah. We went down to that altar. We was begging, falling out, crying, snotting. But if you would have just got a principle. Come on, man. And applied it. Yeah. Because a principle applied accurately will help you to prosper financially, emotionally, spiritually, and what? Physically. Yeah. So all you got to do is take a principle and apply it to whatever is going on in life right now. Mm -hmm. And right now he is not about to get away with murder. No. So when you pray, mm -hmm. now that these men have been locked up, Know that the appointed time of prayer is 9, 12, and 3. Stop for a moment at 9 and say, Most high, y'all. Mm -hmm. We need a conviction. Yes. And we're standing on your law. Yes. Thou, Thou. shall not kill. Glory. And to remind you, I don't care. I know sometimes the time difference is different. Every day on 5 a.m. prayer at 9, 12, and 3, we're going to put up, we're going to post at 9 o'clock. Shall not keep. Mm -hmm. Come on now, Most High Yah. You are not a man that you should lie, neither the Son of Man that you need to repent. I'm standing on the laws of the Most High Yah. Come on, Queen Erica. We standing on the laws of the Most High Yah. Yes. And I'm thankful for his laws. So now, 
We're teaching why are laws important. And we started out this thing on yesterday and it just blew our minds. Yeah. Because it seems so simple. And what does the word say? I will use the simple thing to confine the wise. What does the word say? Oh, I'm more, uh, 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 uh. I'm, I'm smarter than all my teachers because I know the law. What the word says, uh, if you don't uh, walk in the law, your prayers are an abomination. So we know on 5 a.m. prayer that our prayers are not an abomination. Amen. So every day, take some time at 9, 12, and 3 and say, thou shall not kill. Okay. No justice, okay. no peace. Mm -hmm. And say his name, George mm -hmm. Floyd. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We haven't got forgot about Ahmad Arbery. Thou shall not kill on Ahmad Arbery. We haven't forgot. We haven't forgot about the sister that was shot in her house while sleeping. We ain't forgot. Mm -hmm. Thou shall not kill. At 9, 12, and 3, we're going to be taking a knee. How about that? Amen. As he took a knee, we're going to take a knee. Yeah. No justice. No peace. No peace. Return back to the laws of the Most High, Yah. So I'm thankful this morning. I'm excited. I, I, I just know the Most High, Yah, have great things in store for us. The Word says greater work shall we do. I know he has great things in store for us. We just got to keep on walking. Yeah. We can't stop. Yeah. You know, we done crossed over out of Egypt. We done went to the wilderness. We're now into our promised land. We done went from manna to fruit. We got to keep on walking. You know, we can't be distracted by the things that the enemy would try to do. Because the Most High Yah is saying, I no longer have you ignorant of Hasatan devices. Because see, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. And so now we're walking in the knowledge of the Most High Yah. And not only walking in knowledge, walking in understanding and walking in wisdom. Because we're going to take these up principles and we're going to do what? Apply them to our lives. Yeah. So we will no longer be dysfunctional. We're going to be functional. Yeah. We're going to walk it out. We're going to have a bright understanding of the word. We're going to get closer in relationship to the Most High Yah. Because sometimes we, we get confused. We get distracted by folks. Sometimes the Most High, and I was talking about separation on yesterday. Sometimes the Most High Yah will remove things out of your life so you can get focused again. Because you've been distracted. Mm. You know, you've been a little off. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he'll let you go a little off for a little while. But then he has to snatch you back in and say, come on, get focused. Okay. Because whatever has your focus, remember, yeah. it masters you. So you can be so caught up in things that you should not be doing, then you get distracted. Ooh. So he has to move all distractions out of the way. You just need to thank him because that was just a distraction. Right. And, and sometimes we so, you know, we don't realize we're in a distraction and we could be in a distraction for years. Mm. You know. Mm. So no more distractions. Okay. We're going to clear out the noise. Okay. And we're going to get focused, and we're going to stand with the Most High Yah like never before. We're going to um, seek him like never before. We're going to get closer in relationship to him like never before because we don't have nothing distracting us. Mm -hmm. And so that's the way we want to walk now. Now, things that's going to distract us, we need to get that out the way. We should learn some things when we've been distracted for a while. Mm -hmm. Because soon as you come out of one distraction, guess what happened? Another one comes. Uh oh Wow. And if you're not careful... If you're not careful, you'll fall right into another distraction. Oh, Lord. And so the most high y'all is saying that's how folks jump from relationship to relationship because it's another distraction because you're vulnerable. Oh. And it'll cause you to fall into another relationship. But guess what? It's the same old pattern. Ain't nothing changed. It's the same thing. You got to remain focused. Amen. So y'all got your focus on? Yes. All right. Don't let um, loneliness or being alone get you off focus because you'll wind up attaching yourself to somebody that you should not be with. So we're being wise in this season, okay? We're being very wise. If we're going back to the laws of the Most High Yah, we have to be wise. Okay. Wisdom is the principal thing. Okay. So that's the way we're going to walk, wisely. You know, just seeking the Most High Yah in everything we do. You know, calling on the Most High Yah in every aspect of our lives. When something shows up in our lives, we'll be like this, uh-oh, Yah, did you send this foolishness? 
No, I did not. Okay, don't walk in there. Get focused. It's time to get focused. You know, if you ain't been doing what you were supposed to do, it's time for you to get focused. You've been sitting in this house all this time, sheltered in place, and you ain't did nothing for the most high, y'all. You ought to be ashamed. Oh, but it's time to get focused. Okay. It's really time to get focused. You know, you need to sit down and think about some things. If the word says, what builder that, you know, he decides to build a house, but he doesn't sit down and count the cost. Mm. So it's time to count the cost for some things in your life. And so everything, every relationship, every uh, uh, sisterhood, brotherhood, whatever you want to call it, whatever you're doing, you better sit down and count the cost because it might cost you some years. It might waste your time mm -hmm. for years. And, and you don't need to be wasting your time. Because I'm telling you right now, uh, uh, time is the most high y'all's currency, and I'm not about to just blow money. And I ain't talking about money like that. Currency means he gives us time. Yes. And so if we're not wise in the season that we're walking in right now of going through his principles, going through his laws, we won't be using wisdom and we'll be wasting time. You know, it, it, it's time out for wasting time. Okay. I, I'm so serious. I, I, you don't need to be wasting time in idle conversations. You don't need to be wasting time in things that ain't going to do nothing for you. You don't need to be wasting time in time that people that walk with you or claim they walk with you, that you can't see any growth in you. You don't need to be wasting time that nobody that can't sow a seed into your life, that you can walk that seed out and plant it into your life and you begin to grow from it. You don't need to waste any more time. Okay. And I pray you're really getting this. Because a lot of us waste too much time on nothing. And you don't have no time to waste on anybody anymore. We talked about, you know, one accord. How can two walk together unless they be in agreement? You can't be walking with folks you don't agree with. Why are you lined up and just having idle conversation with folks and rolling your eyes and doing all kind of crazy stuff? And you already know. I'm wasting my time. Mm. Now is not the time to try to get folks to get things and plead with folks. Move on. And I'm so serious right now. Now is not the time. I don't have time to sit down and explain to you why black lives matter. I'm about tired of that. So if you don't get it, do some research. How about you study history and you'll understand why black lives matter. So, no more wasting time. Okay. No, nope, no more wasting time. Don't take any phone calls that will work, waste your time. Don't respond to any emails that will waste your time. Don't even respond to a text message that will waste your time. Get focused. Get real serious about yourself. I talked about yesterday. You got to know your value and your worth. Get serious about yourself. Work on yourself. Y'all be wanting other folks to work on you. That's the crazy part. Can you help me? Help yourself. You want other folks to give you stuff, work on stuff? What you think? No, what do you think? Mm. I need to know what your value and what your worth is. Because if we're not careful, folks will start pulling on us and pulling us down, and we're so focused on what's wrong with them that we can't get what's right with us. Mm. Okay. So, we can counsel, but we're not going to live your life for you. You're going to get up with your grown self and start walking in what you're supposed to do. Okay. And hold yourself accountable. How about that for a change? Yeah, yeah. Hold yourself accountable to some things. Because the laws, they got built in judgments. <laughs> you know, we was always around here worried about, well, they done did this to me and they done did that to me and it looked like they got away. Mm. Oh, no. The law has built in judgments. Yeah. Don't nobody get to get away with anything. You saw those four arrests on yesterday? Yeah. You next. <laughs> you saw those four arrests on yesterday? You next. The law has built in judgment. So don't think you're doing something and you getting away with it because you're not and you never will. Amen. So everyone get focused now. Okay. Uh, I mean, get, get real focused. Okay. You sit down with y'all and you begin to talk to him like never before. Because you're in a place now. You're in a place. Oh, solitude. Ooh. Ooh. Not isolation. It's something about being in a place of solitude. You begin to become real wise. 
you begin to use wisdom. And sometimes, you know, you need to go through a season of, you was just dumb. <laughs> what? What you say? I'm going to say it again. Sometimes you just need to go through a season that you was just dumb. You fell for everything. You know that some folks say, well, if you, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. You went through a season, you fell for everything. They kept changing the game, changing the game. You was like, okay, okay, okay. All right, I'll roll with this, I'll roll with that. And the most of y'all are saying, I had to take you through a season where you fell for everything that you would know how dumb you was. Oh. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah, I had to take you through a season where you fell for everything. You know, sometimes we ask the most high, y'all, why did I go through that? Why did I go through so much? And why did it take so long? And, oh! You know, we be saying all that stuff to y'all. He be looking at you like, if you would have used wisdom, don't act like the Holy Spirit wasn't leading you. So I have to take you through a season where you fell for everything. Because in your next season, you ain't going to fall for nothing. Whoop! There it is. What you say? Huh? I had to take you through a season. That you fell for everything. Because in your next season, you ain't going to fall for nothing. You're going to be straight up a Hebrew saying to yourself, Oh, I hear what you're saying, but you better show me. Amen. Oh, I hear what you're saying, but you, I got to see it. Amen. As a matter of fact, I got to see you. Amen. So I'm telling y'all, be careful, be careful, be careful. Yeah, don't, don't fall into a season where you fall for everything. Oh, it's a lesson. It really is. But um, if you're not, whew, not being that watchman on the wall, not being on guard, you can't just be praying. You got to watch as well as pray. Amen. And, and I mean, if things are not adding up, if one plus one don't equal no five, it equals two. So if you want to be ignorant, somebody say, you know, one plus one equals five. Oh, for real? Yeah. It, you know you so smart. <laughs> And you go along with dumbness. Yeah, and you keep, and you keep falling for it. 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 So the most I, y'all will take you through a season where you just dumb. dumb. <laughs> and the only reason why you're dumb, because you want to be dumb. Oh. You're not following the spirit. You're following yourself. And, and sometimes we go through seasons like that. We go through seasons where we want something so bad. We want to believe something so bad. And the whole time the most high, y'all say, do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? Well, I want to. <laughs> I mean, I care. You know, you get, your, you get yourself in a season where you be caring about folks more than you care about yourself. Mm -hmm. So then you don't cover yourself. So now we're focused. Yes. Thank you for a season of falling for everything. Because I'm focused now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And see, a lot of times we let our heart get in the way. You got to move that heart over now. You got to take that heart, put it on the shelf. Don't give it to nobody. That's the main thing you don't do. Don't give your heart to nobody. You better make sure you don't do that. Amen. Take your heart, put it on the shelf. And say, most high, y'all, I'm walking with you. Give me wisdom. Yes. In every relationship, you, I, I'm being serious right now. In every relationship that you have right now, I don't care who it is, write all their names down. Tell the most high y'all to give you wisdom in these relationships. And if these relationships ain't adding up, subtract. Move them out the way. Bye. Stop wasting your time. You should not waste your time. Mm -hmm. This is important right now. We, we about to walk in these laws. We're about to walk them out. It's important right now. Don't waste your time. And folks will waste your time. They will tie you up as long as you let them. Mm -hmm. Untie yourself and move on. All right, that's it. <clears throat> Whoop, most high. How come lifting up everyone on Facebook Live this morning? The ones that will listen live and the ones that will listen later. Give them discernment to walk out areas in their lives. Now is the time for separation. You're calling us to separate ourselves from the laws of this world and walk into the laws of the Most High Yah. Because we know right now that your word does not return void, neither shall it be reversed, and it will do exactly 
what you sent it to do. So thank you right now for knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, and turning up our discernment and getting us focused. Hallelujah, because we're going to walk this thing out by faith, and I'm so excited about it, because right now, most high y'all, you let the scales fall off our eyes, you'll give us seasons that will just be dumb. And so now we're going to be wise in your eyes. And so thank you right now, and as you decrease, I, ooh, decrease me as you give the increase. I'm not sufficient of myself. All sufficiency lies on the inside of you. And I will forever give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And it's in the mighty, mighty name of Yahushua, I pray. Amen, 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 and amen. The word says, if two or three gather together in his name, that he would be in the midst. Focus. The word says, if two touch and agree on anything, it shall be done. And I know I can't do nothing this morning without this word being established through the law, the prophets, and the writings. So the method style of study, it is a process of studying the word of Ahia, Asha, Ahia, which is I am, that I am in Hebrew, the great I am, the Yah of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we seek his guidance and live in a kingdom lifestyle. The Torah is the Most High Yah's teachings and instructions in 613 principles is where the Creator speaks, Mother. And then we search the witnesses through the books of the prophets, the Nevi'ims, and the books of the writings, the Ketavim's. Collectively, the Torah, the Nevi'ims, and the Ketavim's, or identify as the Tanakh, or as some refer to it, the Old Testament, which is the only book that Yahuwah, I heard it said pronounced like that on yesterday. I said, whoo, my soul kind of resonated with that. Yahuwah, study in reference throughout the New Testament. Don't get caught up in names. The Most High Yah told me to tell you that. Don't get caught up in names because we don't really know the pronunciation of these Hebrew words. And so sometimes the pronunciation, as we see, it's a progressive revelation. It begins to change as he introduced himself to you personally in a relationship. So when 5 a.m. prayer started out this walk, it was Yeshua. Mm -hmm. That ain't his name. Then we went to Yahushua. Okay? And then I, 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 I saw a study on words on yesterday, and it said Yahua. I said, okay, then most high. He said, don't get caught up in words. Don't get caught up in words. We, we don't know how to pronounce these Hebrew words correctly. But guess what? He will bless your efforts he will show himself mighty to you. So, that Yahuwah studied in reference throughout the New Testament. Genesis chapter 27, verse 8. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I commanded thee. Today, we look to the word obey. Shema. Got that one right. Okay. A primitive root to hear intelligently. Focus. Often with implications of attention. Focus. Obedience. Causatively. Ooh. To tell. Attentively. Focus. Call gather together. Carefully. Focus. Certainly. Consent, consider, be content. If you were focused, you wouldn't have failed for everything. Be content. Declare diligently. Ooh, Lord. Discern. Focus. Give ear. Cause to, let, make to, indeed, listen. Come on now. Make a noise. Be obedient. Obey. Proceed. Make a proclamation. What you say? Mm -hmm. I ain't falling for that no more. Okay. Make a proclamation. Publish that thing, child. Okay. Report. Show forth. Make a sound. Surely. Tell. Understand. Whosoever heareth 
witness what you say. Thank you, Mosiah. The Torah testifies. Exodus chapter 23, verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thou enemies and an adversary unto thou adversaries. Ooh, I'm going to hear, listen, and obey. <laughs> the prophets proclaim Joshua chapter 24, verse 24. And the people said unto Joshua, the most high our Yah will we serve, and his voice will we obey. All right. The writings bear witness. Job chapter 36, verse 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Lord, you done wasted some years. You need some pleasure, child. Okay. <laughs> we have completed the method style of study this morning, reviewing obey. First, we recognize the standard set in the Torah in 613 principles. Then we search the witnesses through the books of the prophets, the Nevi'ins, and the books of the writings, the Ketavis. Collectively, the Torah, the Nevi'ins, and the Ketavis are identified as the Tanakh, or as some refer to it, the Old Testament, which is the only book that Yahuwah studied and referenced throughout the New Testament. 5 a.m. prayer. The Most High Yah has put laws in place from the very beginning. But the laws were not put in place just for us to read them or recite them. The Most High Yah laws in place for us to obey him. Obedience to his laws is what brings us success and blessings. But the lack of obedience is what brings the built in judgment upon us. Oh Lord, help us Holy Ghost. Jeremiah chapter 42 verse 6. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Most High our Yah, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Most High, our Yah, Shalom Allah King. Peace be unto you, 5 a.m. prayer community. As we look at the world today, the injustices and abuse that we face as the Most High Yah's chosen people are due to lack of obedience to his laws, commandments, and precepts. The only way things will get better is if we turn back to Yah and obey all that he has commanded and spoken. Ooh, Lord, it is well with my soul. So now, are you ready for the word of Yah? The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob. Are you ready for the word of Yah? The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, the father of Jacob. This morning we are coming out of the book of Exodus. Coming out of some stuff, y'all. We are the second Exodus. Exodus chapter 20 in its entirety. Okay. This morning, we are coming out of the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20, in its entirety, and it reads, And Yah spake all these words, saying, I am the most high thou, Yah, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. 
or that is in the water under the earth. Come on now, Holy Ghost. Thou shalt not bow, dare thou self to them, nor serve them. I am the most high thou, Yah. Am a jealous Yah. Yeah. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Oh. Thou shalt not take the name of the Most High, thou Yah, in vain, for the Most High will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thou work. But the seventh day of a Sabbath unto the Lord thou Yah. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thou son, nor thou daughter, thou manservant, nor thou maidservant, nor thou cattle, nor thou strangers that is within thou gates. For in six days the Most High made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Most High blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Honor thou father and thou mother, that thou days may be long upon the earth, which the Most High thou yah giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill. Ooh. Come on now, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Say it again, Dr. J. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness Ooh. against thou neighbor. Ooh, we walking in these laws now. Uh -huh. And you done did some stuff and you did this what the law say. Uh -oh. Thou shalt not cover thou neighbor's house. Ooh. Thou shalt not cover thou neighbor's wife. Ooh. Nor his manservant, nor his maidservant nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is his neighbor's. Okay. And all the people saw the thundering Ooh. and lightning uh -huh. and the noise of the chauffeur and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. Uh -huh. And they said unto Moshe, okay now, speak thou with us <laughs> and we will hear. But let not Yah speak with us Lest we die. <laughs> and Moshe said unto the people, Fear not, for Yah is come to prove you, and that he and that his fear may be before your faces that ye sin not. Oh, okay. And the people stood afar off. <laughs> and Moshe drew near to unto the thick darkness where Yah was. <laughs> and the Most High said unto Moshe, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Ye have heard that I had talked with you from heaven. They ye like, yeah, uh-huh. They back it up. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver. Okay. Neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold. An altar of the earth thou shalt make unto me. And shall sacrifice thereon, thou burnt offering, and thou peace offering, thou sheep, and thou oxen, and all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. And if thou wilt make me an altar of stone, thou shalt not build it on huge stone, for if thou lift up thou too upon it, thou hast polluted it. Neither shall thou go up by steps unto my altar. Ooh, look at y'all pagan idolatry uh, worshipers, because y'all walk up into that pulpit. Okay. Ooh. That thou nakedness be not discovered thereon. May the Most High Yah add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his most holy word. Y'all get ready for a Holy Ghost ride. Okay. And the most high Yah's word. Because Exodus chapter 20, get ready for it. Get used to it. Because I'm going to read it in your hearing every single day for the next, I don't know how many months. Maybe you'll get a, a glimpse of his law. And that it ain't been done away with. Okay. Thank you, most high, for putting that out there. 
read it every day. Okay, I got it. So, when we don't understand laws, right, and the use of laws, that means we're experimenting. We, we won't try to figure things out. You know, you'd be like this. Well, if I do it this way, it might work. If I do it that way, it might work. If I be dumb, it might work. No, it's not going to work. Only his laws. Okay. okay. So, we don't know the laws. So, we come to life experimenting. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Because we don't know the laws. So, we come to life experimenting. Mm -hmm. Guessing. Hoping things work out. My real simple job for the rest of my life. The reason why I am doing what I do. The reason why you call me maybe a pastor or teacher is that I teach the laws. Mm -hmm. Every day I get up, I just teach laws. This is nothing about the anointing. And all that deep stuff. This is really about laws. Mm -hmm. You can have an anointed fool. Say it again, Dr. J. I know I don't want to do it. Thank you. You can have an anointed fool teaching foolishness. Uh-oh, y'all wait this morning. Come on now. Y'all done been through this. You can have an anointed fool teaching foolishness. You got some good preachers who know nothing about the law. <laughs> Anointed fool, teaching foolishness, and you got some good preachers that know nothing about the laws. Mm. Then make you shout. But in the end, you didn't learn anything. Ooh. Come on, come on, y'all. You got some good preachers. That know nothing about the law. Oh, Lord. They make you shout. But in the end, you didn't learn anything. Mm. No laws, but you got a good sweat. Ooh you still broke, uh. poor, oh. depressed, Ooh. frustrated, Ooh. don't know how to succeed. And you've been going there for 50 years. It's not the preaching that sets you free. It's the truth. It's the laws that sets you free. Yeah. Let's talk about the nature of law. Law is essential to life. And we just found that out. All these protestings going on across the globe globally. Uh -huh. Law is essential to life. Mm -hmm. Law is necessary for all relationships. And the concept of need is the concept of law. I just talked about relationships in the introduction. Yes, you did. Law is essential mm -hmm. to life. Law is necessary for all relationships. Y'all better come on and wake up. And the concept of need is the concept of law. You got to set some boundaries. Yes. Don't move the landmarkers. Come uh -huh. on now. Need creates law. Say it again. Uh -huh. Need creates law. Your car needs gasoline. Yeah. So there's a law established by the need. Mm -hmm. The fish need water. So there's a law established by the need. The plant need the soil. So there's a law established by the need. You don't want the most high. You need the most high. Mm. That's why you come back to the most high. People think that coming to the Most High is a religious experience or something. No, it isn't. It's you getting to your senses, that's all. Oh, come on, get focused. Without the Most High, you can do what? Nothing. The Bible 
says without the water, the fish can do nothing. Without the soil, the plant can do nothing. Without the most high, you can do nothing, he says. This is no, not a matter of choice. Say it again. This is not a matter of a choice. It's a matter of a need. Come on, most high, y'all. You don't want the most high. Fish don't want water. It's a law. Plants need soil. Fish need water. Birds need the air and their freedom. Trees need carbon dioxide. They don't want it. Ooh, come on, Most High, y'all. And humans need oxygen. I can't breathe. Come on. Now, the problem with this is humans don't want, humans don't produce oxygen and they need it to live. Ooh, come on now, most high, y'all. So there's a law that the humans have to protect the trees. That's a law. Every time you kill a tree, you're threatening your own life. So this is why governments are actually finding people who are cutting the forest because they are about to destroy life on earth. Mm -hmm. So this is why governments actually find, I can find, mm -hmm, people who are cutting the forests because they are about to destroy human life on earth. So actually, there are countries like Guatemala or Brazil or Colombia where the largest amount of trees exists in the world. They call it the Amazon forest. That is really an oxygen factory. So the United Nations is actually paying these countries not to cut down the trees. Isn't that amazing? Maybe the Bahamas should start a new industry, tree planting. You can plant so many trees on these islands that they will pay you to keep the trees. Ooh, because the trees are the manufacturers of oxygen, which we need. Law. In other words, law can bring you money if you understand the laws. You better come on, most high, y'all. Challenging laws. Now, when you challenge laws, you put yourself in a predicament. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Yes. Challenging laws. Now, when you challenge laws, you put yourself in a predicament. Yeah. Humans are the only created beings that willfully, intentionally, violate natural and physical laws. Come on. We are the only creatures that do it. Fish never leave the water. What you say? Oh. Fish never leave the water. Plants never leave the soil. Mm -hmm. They don't challenge the law. We are the only creatures the most high created that question the law. Challenge it, violate it, intentionally and willfully walk away from it. Ooh, come on. We are amazing creatures, aren't we? Mm. That's why there is global failure all over the world in every culture, every race, every ethnic group. People are failing by the billions mm -hmm. because they disobey laws intentionally. Did we not just see that man take a knee and the other ones take a knee and George Floyd back because they violated laws intentionally, trying to change the laws intentionally? And I'm not talking about the laws of this world. I'm talking about the laws of Yah, which says, Thou 
You don't have to turn it down. Thou shalt not kill. They violated the most high Yah's law. All of the created things submit to law. They obey natural law and spiritual law. Am I making sense? So let's talk about the law of humanity. What you say? Am I making sense? Yeah. So let's talk about the law of humanity. First of all, the Most High created all things to live and function by law. What you say? Okay. First of all, the Most High created all things to live and function by law. Yeah. But the Most High created mankind to live by natural and spiritual laws. Mm. That's why all humans must learn laws for relationships to build properly. What you say? Uh. That's why all humans must learn laws for relationships to build properly. All I'm seeing right now is the 613 principles in the laws of relationship. Thou shall not trespass. Ooh. There's a trespass law, and you better believe it. The reason why people fail is because they don't know the laws. Mm. And therefore, all relationships are products of law. Uh -huh. How you relate to life depend on the laws so you are supposed to obey. What you say? Come on. How you relate to life depends on the laws so you are supposed to obey. Law is the key to success and prosperity. Do you ever wonder why the Most High told Joshua if you obey my laws, you will have good success. Huh? Uh -huh. Do you wonder why the Most High told Joshua, if you obey my laws, you will have good success. Uh -huh. Do you know why? Why? Because you can have bad success. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. Say it again. Because you can have bad success. Uh -huh. He says he will make your way good and prosperous. Yeah. Why? There is a bad prosperity. A drug dealer has a lot of money, but he can't sleep. Mm. Why? Because the brothers are trying to kill him. Ooh, all right now. Mm -hmm. He got to stay up all night watching his money. This is not prosperity. This is torment. Yeah. Law is the key to success and relationships. Yes. Why? Why? Because laws are predictable. Ooh, you better come on in here, Holy Ghost. Why? Because laws are predictable. Laws give you control over your life. Huh? Mm -hmm. Laws give control over life. When you learn the laws, come on, Most High. Come on. You can demand your own value. Yes. What you say? Yes. When you learn the laws, you can demand your own value. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's what you can't do. You can break down. The mechanic knows the law and says 300. Your car breaks down. Mm -hmm. The mechanic knows the law and says $300. They don't care if you want to argue. You want your car to work. I know laws, says the mechanic. So it's $300. See, when you know laws, you can demand your own value. Come on now. Many of you may be thinking, why didn't I hear this 25 years ago? I know that's right, most high y'all. Many of you might be thinking, why didn't I hear this 25 years ago? Because your 
were in the wrong place. Now you're in the right place. What you say? Because you were in the wrong place. Now you're in the right place. 5 a.m. Prayer Ministries live here on Facebook. Come on, Queen Doreen and Queen Erica. Let's go, Emily. All right now. 5 a.m. Prayer Ministries live here on Facebook. Now, let's look at laws versus strength. What you say? Now, let's look at laws versus strength. Sometimes a strong person is not smart. What you say? I just talked about them dumb decisions. Sometimes a strong person is not smart. Let's read what the Bible says. In Joshua chapter 1, the Most High told Joshua, be strong and courageous. How? He says, by keeping the laws. Oh my goodness. Your strength is proven by the laws you know and the laws you obey. Oh my goodness. Your strength is proven. By the laws you know and the laws you obey. Come on. A strong person is the person who keeps law. Uh -huh. I'm not talking about ritual laws now. Say it again, Dr. J. Get this straight. I am not talking about ritual laws now. You know. I'm talking about the laws that the Most High built into life. Oh, I felt that in my spirit. Yeah. I'm talking about the laws that the Most High built into life that are inherent laws. Mm -hmm. The Ten Commandments are actually divine laws. You better come on Exodus chapter 20. Yeah. The Ten Commandments are actually divine laws. You can't change them. I was thinking the other day, says Dr. Miles Monroe, and the Most High said to not kill. Do not kill. You better stop it right now. What you say? Do not kill. That means Anything that's alive could be killed. Correct? Mm -hmm. You can kill a forest. Now, why does the Most High says, don't kill? Oh, I can't breathe. Because when you kill, you affect everything else. When they kill George Floyd. All of us could not breathe. Come on now. So when you kill, you affect everything else. Yeah. So these divine laws that protect life, that preserve life, and make your way prosperous. Now I want to wrap this up with the differences between laws and rules. Uh -huh. What you say? Now I want to wrap this up with the differences between laws and rules. Yeah. It's very important. True principles. Come on, Doreen. We almost there, baby. Tomorrow, we teaching these 613 principles. We gonna start giving them out on Friday. Come on, get excited with me. I'm so in expectation. Yeah. Cause you have to be taught the law in order to obey it. How you gonna obey something you don't know? Ooh. True principles and laws are never broken. What you say? Mm -hmm. True principles and laws are never broken. Violation of law is impossible. Ooh. What you say? Violation of law is impossible. 
You don't break laws. That is number one. Number two, true principles and laws can never be violated. If you jump from a 10-story building, you didn't violate gravity. Gravity violated you. Uh Cancel fear. 
Now you can see why laws are so important and we teach the laws of success. Law is the foundation. Again, I repeat, inherit in creation. It is the glue that holds the universe. It holds everything together. Everything exists by law. Everything exists for law. And without law, there is no success. Now, why is law so important? I want you to get this. Now, why is law so important? Now, I want you to get this because right now, there's some people preaching around the world about grace. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Why is law Ooh. so important? I want you to get this because right now there's some people preaching around the world about grace. I'm not against grace, but I'm against the teaching that grace cancels laws. Be very careful. If you overdose on grace, you start abusing the law. What you say? Now, I'm not saying I'm against grace, but grace teachings, they cancel or try to cancel the law. So be very careful. If you overdose on grace, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you start abusing law. Overdose on grace in success runs from you. What you say? Mm -hmm. You overdose on grace and success runs from you. You overdose on grace and you use grace to break law. Grace doesn't cancel law. Grace positions you to keep the law. Oh, you better get in position. Yes. Come on down, most high, y'all. Come on, most high, y'all. You overdose on grace and you use grace to break law. Grace doesn't cancel law. Grace positions you to keep the law. Mm -hmm. Let me prove it. Ooh, come on, attorney. Let me prove it. The first statement, Yahushua HaMashiach on earth, when he spoke about law is Matthew chapter 5, Verse 17 through 19. Ah. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophet. I am not come. Feel. Ooh, no, you're not. For verily I say unto you, tell heaven now, y'all better start praying because I'm teaching the law and this internet is trying to go down. No, it's not. Start all over again. This is the statement. Yahushua HaMashiach made, according to Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 through 19. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, Till all be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least of these commandments and teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, come on, Queen Doreen, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now, the last part, says Dr. Miles Monroe was about me, 
But whoever practices and teaches these commandments will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And he certainly was a great man. Come on. Are you great? That's a question. Are you great? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you are learning about how important the laws are. You teach others, right? Friday in prayer. Woo. You become great. Because Yahushua said so. Yes. I'm great. Come on. Not only am I great in the kingdom of the most high Yah, because I teach you to keep the law, not to keep grace. Grace forgives you so you could keep laws again. What you say? Laws and traditions are different. Huh? Uh. Laws and traditions are different. Yeah. Traditions can give you failure. Ooh. 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 Laws and traditions are different. Yes. Traditions can give you failure. For surely we have inherited our forefathers' lives. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Traditions can give you failure. Uh -huh. Most people fail because of traditions. If you're going to be successful, you have to break traditions. Uh. What you say? If you're going to be successful, you have to break traditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow, we've made traditions in law the same. Ooh, ooh. Come on, man. Somehow, We've made tradition and law the same. They are not. Let's read Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall succeed the, exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Huh. The word righteousness means to be aligned with the most high laws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word righteousness mm -hmm. means to be aligned with the most high laws. Ooh. So he's talking about the difference between tradition in laws. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me? Let's look at the next verse. Come on. Matthew chapter 15 verse 2. Why do thou disciples transgress the traditions of the elders? Ah. For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Mm -hmm. Look at their concern of following the traditions of the elders over what the Most High has spoken the law. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, with all my strength, says Dr. Miles Monroe, that man has designed your failure. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, with all my strength, that man has designed your failure. I don't trust no law of man. This is very important because we just saw the law of man as he was a law enforcement officer kneeled on that man, George Floyd, for an eight to nine minutes with two more kneeling in his back. I don't trust the law of man. Uh. They said, why do your disciples break the rules and traditions of the elders? Mm. They don't wash their hands before they eat. Sound familiar? Yahushua replied to them, Why do you break the laws Whoop. of the Most High in place of your traditions or your rules? Whoop. Help us the most high, the difference
between laws versus rules. Ooh, the difference between law versus rules. Remember this all your life. Come on now. Remember this all your life. What is a law versus rule? Number one, a general rule or principle that is thought to be true or held to be binding, that world calls that law. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Number one, a general rule or principle that is thought to be true or held to be binding, the world calls the law, that law. Number two, in the world, let's say that a statement of a scientific fact or phenomenon that is invariable under given conditions, they call that law, and that's not necessarily true okay. because the Most High violated many facts of walking on the water. Violated scientific fact of opening the Red Sea. The Most High violated the natural facts. So number three, they say laws, our principles set out in the Bible, especially the Pentateuch, which is the first five books of Genesis Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. They also say that laws are a rule or conduct or procedure recognized by a community as binding or enforceable by authority. Mm -hmm. For example, in America, some years ago, they made a rule that black people were only two-thirds human. That means they were half animals. That was the law of America, right? <laughs> That's the reason why they can kneel on that man, George Floyd, for eight to nine minutes because he was not considered human according to America. Oh, my. In America... Some years ago, they made a rule that black people were only two-thirds human. That means they were half animal. That was the law in America, right? Mm -hmm. So they expected the procedure to follow. That means a black man could never be treated like an equal human to anyone else. So he was so like an animal. And they called it slavery. Why? Because there was a rule mm -hmm. that produced that conduct. Watch this. And it was accepted by the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the white community in America accepted the rule that black people were not humans. Come on. They were just partly animals. So to sell them and to treat them like that, to beat them and to burn them, ooh, Lord, and to brand them with a hot iron was just like branding a cow. After all, the rule is accepted by the, by the community. That ain't a real human. So the whole concept was based on a rule created by the community and it was binding and enforceable. By authority, yeah. I can't breathe. Come on. Get your knee out my neck. That means authority gave you the right to buy a slave, to beat a slave, to brand the slave, and to sell the slave. The 
community made that enforceable, that is how dangerous a rule is. Yes, yes, yes. Now what happened to that rule where there were people who rose up Teach 
in this ministry, the divine laws, read the Bible to get laws, not just to get devotion. Read the Bible to learn the principles, not just to learn the verses. You want to go after the laws, show the laws. David said, you teach me your laws. I will not fail. They preserve me. So act on what you heard. Amen, 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 and amen.
Queen Darlene the Most High, y'all said, he has heard your cry. Ooh, glory. And he's answering everything you cried out because you cried out for the principles. He's heard your cry. You've been crying out for the principles of the Most High, y'all. And starting tomorrow, we're going to teach five principles every day along with the teachings. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Did that teaching blow your mind this morning? Do you know the difference between laws and rules? Because folks can make some rules. Yeah. You better know the laws of the most high yah. I'm thankful for a community. King Raynard, Queen Erica, Queen Doreen, Queen Miko. Come on, Miss Evelyn. I'm thankful for a community that is crying out for the laws of the Most High Yah. Thank you, Mother, for your cry, because he done heard our cry. Uh-oh, the revolution will be televised. The revolution will be televised. Y'all shared this video. That was powerful. That was powerful. That was powerful. Can't nobody line that up but the most high, y'all. Do you know how long this teaching has been sitting here? For weeks. But in his perfect timing, he shall speak and not lie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What did it say? Wait for the vision. Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall speak and not lie. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Most High. Yeah. Woo. Share this video, share this video, share this video, share this video. Woo. This was so good. So good. It blessed my soul. My soul cries holy. Kadosh. 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 Woo wee. So get to the blog spot. Get to Facebook. Get to YouTube. It will encourage you. Have a supernatural day, five. And five is the number of Torah, the law. Five is the number of grace. Grace is an enablement to keep. The law. I love you, love you, love you. Who I love you. You know I love you. Bye now. So good. So, so good. Bless you, y'all. Bless you.